some tense moments in court as the second week of the trial of Otis McCain continues today. Today we heard more about what happened right after McCain's arrest, including arguments on the consent given to search two locations and a vehicle. That consent given by McCain's wife, Erica Hernandez, joins us from just outside of the courtroom with the latest on that. Erica? All right, obviously we're having some sort of problem with Erica's microphone there. Christian Fields, McCain's wife, when he was arrested, gave consent to a homicide detective to search two locations and her vehicle. The interpretation of those consent forms led to a heated debate between the defense and the prosecution. Let's listen a little bit to that debate. Excuse me, he asked me for a response. Don't talk to me, talk to the judge. Don't now, the testimony was allowed, and Detective Dwayne Brannon said Fields gave consent to search her home an Econo Lodge room where they were staying and her car. This consent was all given when they were pulled over on November 21st and McCain was arrested. Detective Brannon said while well, most people ask why they were detained, Fields didn't say anything. After introducing myself, there was really no other correspondence between she and I other than uh, me reading the forms to her, her gather or her signing consent to search. And then there's a dialect between she and I concerning the, the diaper bag. Other than that, that was it. The testimony is over for the day. It will resume tomorrow at 1.30. Again, you can watch all of this testimony on KSAT.com. Day six of the Otis McCain capital murder trial. Prosecutors bringing nine new witnesses before jurors to make the case against McCain in the 2016 murder of San Antonio Police Detective Benjamin Marconi. Erica Hernandez in court where the focus was on the gathering of evidence. Crime scene investigators, the owner of an Econo Lodge and a firearm specialist all taking the stand today to present evidence that was collected during the investigation of Detective Benjamin Marconi's murder. Crime scene investigators took the stand to talk more about the evidence collected. This was all dealing with Otis McCain's black car, photo show paint transfer and damages on the vehicle. Also taking the stand today, the owner of an Econo Lodge off I-35 on the northeast side. He testified about McCain and his wife, Christian Field, stay at the motel. When you say them, um, who is them? Uh, Christian Fields. Uh -huh. And is Christian Fields alone or is she with someone else? She's with someone else. I just remember he had um, a lot of hair. He had, a, he had um, like a dreadlocks. Surveillance video was shown of Fields and what appears to be McCain at the motel. This was all on the same day, just about seven hours after Detective Marconi was killed. More testimony is expected tomorrow afternoon as we enter day seven of this trial. You can watch it live on KSAT.com. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.